Welcome to the video tutorial on virtual terminals. Linux is a multi-user system which allows many users to work on it simultaneously. So what if different users need to work on the same system at a time? How do you do that? This is where we need the virtual terminals, so let us learn about them. Virtual terminals are similar to the terminal that we have been using so far. They are used for executing commands and offering input. The only difference is that you cannot use the mouse with the virtual terminals. Therefore, you need to know the keyboard shortcuts. They are one of the most distinguished features of Linux as virtual terminals enable a number of users to work on different programs at the same time on the same computer. So let us learn how to launch a virtual terminal. The steps to launch a virtual terminal are press the Control plus Alt plus F1 key combination on your keyboard, enter the user ID and password and you would be good to go. Let us try it on Ubuntu. So let us go ahead and press the Control plus Alt plus F1 key combination. As soon as we do it, we see the login screen for the virtual terminal. So let us put in the user name. Upon entering the password, we would be able to log in to the virtual terminal 1. As usually, there are six virtual terminals on a Linux operating system and you can log into them as different users to conduct different tasks. You can navigate between the six virtual terminals using the following command. It says Control plus Alt plus F1 to F6 key. F1 being the first while F6 being the last virtual terminal. You can work on all of them at the same time. In order to know which virtual terminal you are working on, note the TTY given at the top. So right now, we are working on the first virtual terminal. So if you want to switch to the second virtual terminal, you can press the Control plus Alt plus F2 key combination to navigate. Pressing Control plus Alt plus F3 key combination will take you to the third virtual terminal. TTY is the teletype number which you can also know by typing the command TTY on the terminal. So right now we are working on TTY1. It is important to note here that you need to log in to each virtual terminal to be able to work on them. The seventh terminal is the one which we have been using so far in the Linux tutorials. It can be accessed by using the key combination Control plus Alt plus F7. So let us try it on the operating system. So pressing the Control plus Alt plus F7 key combination would take you to the terminal window on the screen. These are some of the shortcuts that you should be aware of while working on the virtual terminals. So using the Home or CTR plus A key combination would move the cursor to the start of the current line. Reset would reset the virtual terminal. History would list the commands executed by the user. The arrow up shortcut would scroll up in history and you need to enter to execute a command. Control plus D would lock you out from the virtual terminal. And using Control plus Alt plus Delete key combination would reboot the system. Now let us try some of them on a virtual terminal. Let's start with the history command. Entering this command would give us all the commands executed by the user in the past. Now if you want to clean the virtual terminal window, you need to type in reset. In order to run the commands from the history, you can press the arrow up key and you would be able to see all the commands used in the past. You can then hit the enter key and the command would be executed. Let's say we want to use the echo command with this string. But here we have misspelled the word echo. As we cannot use the mouse with virtual terminals, we need to use the left and right arrow keys to navigate. Or I can simply press the home key and it would take me to the start of the current command line. Pressing end would take me to the end of it. So let's say if I want to remove this letter, I can take the cursor to the letter and then I need to press the delete key. And it would clear out the wrong letter. If you want to autocomplete the commands, you can press the tab key. So if I type EC and press the tab key, the command would be autocompleted to echo. This is how we can use 
the virtual terminal shortcuts. So let us press the control plus D key combination and log out from the virtual terminal. Let us do a quick recap. Virtual terminals are CLIs which execute the user commands. There are six virtual terminals which can be launched using the shortcut keys. They offer multi-user environment and up to six users can work on them at the same time. Unlike terminals, you cannot use the mouse with virtual terminals. To launch a virtual terminal, press Ctrl plus Alt plus F 1 to 6 key combination on the keyboard and use the same command to navigate. To return to the home screen of the Linux system, use Ctrl plus Alt plus F7 and it will take you to the terminal. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.